Hello and welcome to Southbridge. So in this video, you will learn how to change the background color of the selected HTML table row. So here is our demo. So we have a table and and we'll try to click a row in it. So as you can see, the background color of the selected row will change into a dark green color. So let's go to our code editor. So here in my HTML document, I have a table. So it is called my table. And then I have created a CSS class. So we will use this CSS class when we select a row in our table. So let's begin by referencing our table and then we will get all the rows in our table and then we will create a for loop And then inside our for loop, we will get the current row. So let's create a variable. Current row is equal to table.rows. And then let's put the i variable as the index. And then we will create an onClick event for our current row. So current row dot onClick then the function so first we will just check if this onclick event works so let's type console.log then let's display some text let's view our console and then let's try to click a row so our on click event is now working and next is we will use the array.from method so let's type array.from and then we will supply our current row and then the parent element and its children so now we can use the for each so for each then we'll supply a function and then let's provide an argument into our function so let us type el for element and then we will remove the selected row class for all the rows so el dot class list dot remove then selected row and then we will set this current row into the selected row so this dot class list dot add class dot add and then the selected row class let's try to check it in our browser so as you can see 
we can now change the background color of the current selected row in our HTML table. So there is another way to remove the selected row class for all the table row elements. So the other way is by using the spread operator. So we'll just use the brackets and then let's type the triple dot and then all the rows in our table so this that parent element that children and then now we can use our for each so let's provide a parameter let's use again the el for element and then we can set the el that class list that remove and then the selected row class so let's comment this out so let's try this if this works So as you can see, uh, we can also change the selected rows background using the spread operator. So you can choose what code you like. So you can use this array.from method or you can use this spread operator. So that's how you can change the background color of the currently selected HTML table row.